This is a fish transport system. So this was designed for live migratory species here in the Columbia Basin. Uh, this last fall, with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, we successfully transported about 10,000 live Chinook at the Washugal Weir. Uh, all came through alive, and uh, it is designed to ease um, the stress for both people and fish in movement over things like barriers, potentially hydroelectric dams, created a fish-centric tube for various size fish. Uh, what you're seeing today, this system is for somewhere between 7 and 14 plus pound fish. The Washougal system that the department used this year was for 15 to 30 pound Chinook. And so we have different sizes uh, for different ranges of fish. It needed to be soft and flexible. It needed to be, uh, it needed to have a low coefficient of friction. So inside we're not damaging slime, we're not even removing slime, we're not damaging scales or eyes or anything like that. Uh, it had to be stable enough to sit outside so you'd be in ozone protection. It needed to be made out of FDA materials. This is the Smith Root Fish Handling Gloves. Often people are doing research on fish, need to handle fish. And one of the problems with that is that it's mostly used doing chemicals or their danger of dropping the fish or hurting the user of the fish while they're doing it. This uses a very small electrical current to immobilize the fish so that fish can be grabbed, measured, tagged, and then released immediately for full control of use of the body from the, from the fish.